is the oldest cat that ever lived? Is it A, 34 years old, B, 33 years old, or C, 32 years old? The correct answer is A, 34 years old. His name fittingly was Grandpa, and when he was born in 1964, LBJ was president. The Beverly Hillbillies was the number one TV show. And the Beatles' I Wanna Hold Your Hand was the country's number one song. Jake Perry of Austin, Texas was Grandpa's owner. Grandpa was a Rex Sphinx, a distinctive and nearly hairless breed of cat. But it was age that set him apart and made him a cat world hero. What does Jake attribute Grandpa's longevity to? The love, the care, and the checkups, and the food. The food? Now, wait a minute. Here's what Grandpa ate every morning of his life for breakfast, along with a cup of Folgers coffee, regular please, not decaf. Bacon, eggs, broccoli, and mayonnaise. Now, it is true in his later years, Jake switched Grandpa to egg beaters and fake bacon. They lived in this modest house with Jake's wife and about 20 other cats, but only Grandpa liked to venture out on Jake's daily rounds. He liked to ride in the truck. And he would like to see the green lights, cars, sceneries. When Grandpa finally died this April, he was 34 or 238 in cat years, Jake gave Grandpa a burial with full honors. First came a memorial service, complete with funeral music in which Jake's other cats paid their respects. He was then laid out in a kitty casket and buried in Jake's backyard with a headstone and all. I miss him real bad, and it hurts. But don't feel too sorry for Jake just yet. First of all, he has a hairless kitten named Cowboy, who is Grandpa's great-great-grandson and has already shown the same dietary tastes. Cowboy is beginning to eat what Grandpa ate and beginning to lap a little coffee, as long as the cream is poured in. And Jake has another cat who has a shot at breaking Grandpa's record. Her name is Cream Puff. And according to Jake, she just turned 29 years young.